Good morning, guys. It is November 4th, and we are in Ridoso, New Mexico. I'm gonna close the door. In the truck, waiting for Chris to come back because we brought Theo with us, but he's misbehaving. So, I guess he's having like a little training sesh. Um, anyway, we don't really have anything planned. I just actually love this place because I like being in like the nature. I like feeling like I'm Bella Swan and so there's nothing planned much. I just kind of want to walk around, see, hike, all that good stuff. Um, oh, yeah. oh my gosh, hopefully, I really don't want to jinx this, but hopefully not every single tribal vlog turns out like this because we lost a reservation. <laughs> At the lodge that we have, it was like tiny cabins, and somehow I don't even know why. Um, Chris' card didn't go through, but they didn't tell us until like way later yesterday, actually, like at four in the morning. But it said, Call within like 24 hours so your reservation doesn't get canceled. But obviously, we were gonna be here less than 24 hours because we were coming, um, that same day but during the night which was yesterday and then literally while we're pulling pulling into the parking lot Chris gets email that our reservation has been canceled because the card wouldn't go through but the other email said that our reservation was not gonna be canceled um, if we got there within 24 hours so the office was closed because they're tiny cabins they're like tiny um, like I don't know how to explain it it's like this um, and the office was closed. It was after hours. It was like 11 at night. So there was no one in the office to help us. So yeah, our reservation just got canceled. And then I was looking through the other lodges, cabins. And then, cause I wanted to stay one of those to have like the simple living kind of vibe going on. But they were all, um, booked out. The ones that were pet friendly and then the ones that were not pet friendly were, um, like too expensive because they only had like the suites or kind of like that left their normal rooms were sold out and then we found this motel the days in here um it's actually pretty decent and it's pet friendly so it was a good price too but but anyway that was the story of how we lost the reservation and here's still yeah because that's gonna help you pull him with more i'm gonna look for a place at breakfast now the thing is that now most of the places have to be pet friendly because we have this buddy right here, huh, Theodore? If not, I think it's fine if we leave him here. Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, and Rudolph. And Chris. Oh. <gasps> Must be nice. Imagine just you're chilling in your in your portion. We came to into oh what was it called? The log cabin, the log in cabin. And all the food looks so good. So so good. Now I guess we're gonna have to do some extra cardio when we get home. Show you guys my also, I'm sorry for the battery quality, but over here, Mr. I have the new iPhone, didn't want to lend me his camera, so I'm using mine. Yeah. Theo. Oh my goodness, like, I'm pretty sure he can go in. Look, babe, you should get him that one. Hair me. Babe. jacket change we went back to the hotel for a little bit so chris could take a little nap and then also Wait. to was up um 
drop off Theo. Hold on, let me explain because I don't think I'm gonna take the camera inside. Now we're in the convention center. It looks so tiny. Um, because there's a Christmas fair. So I'm gonna record with Mr. Better camera than this one. Because if I don't use my vlogging camera, then I don't wanna carry it around. You're being lustful, babe. Santa, I've been good this year. Ooh, yum. Make your list and check it twice. Delicious or what? Back in the truck, it looks okay. Like it's freezing because of this, but it's not. It's warm, but. There wasn't that much to see in the convention. It was cute, but it's really tiny. But anyway, we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do now, and then I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. go-karts but I'm gonna ask whatever there is here because it's so pretty hasta con ganas de darme un clavado y rejuvenecerme con el agua fría completed outfits anyway this is the most beautiful scenery ever I say that about everywhere I go so yeah So far, the pro, which is like actually raising, um, and then Chris also bought the fun, fun track. Now we're gonna go double on that one so that I can record because it's more like chill. And the other one is such a competitive present. It's okay. Welcome, Rachel. Was your safety safety? No, the following rules. I love you. The green pedal is on the left. If it was a little bit more garlicky. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, then me too. Because you know the one in the airport, the Austin, the margarita one, that had like a lot of seasoning? 
No, oh, that was my fa that was a ten out of ten for me for sure. was a happy soul. Hey Theodore. Hey Christopher. We're going home today, but I stopped here. Oh, cuz right now he peed for a whole minute. What the? That is a lot. We're gonna take pictures. And I think this is a really cute location. Also by the entrance was good, but there's a lot of like cars going on and one dangerous too embarrassing Hi. Just um, I guess like the very very um touristy part here, like where everybody comes because the lake is there, and then you can do like kayaking, not kayaking, paddle boats, um, zip lining. <laughs> so we brought Theo now because this year was just the two of us, and then it also was really cold, so we didn't get to enjoy it that much. And then after here, we're just leaving. So. Let's see how much content I can get for right now. So we're gonna do a paddle boat with Theo. His first time, my first time here too. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll go first. Let's see how it goes. We don't got a towel for you. <laughs> Ew! Oh my goodness! Sit! Theo, sit! Sit! Theodore. Not to the front, Theo! workout i even took my jacket off but when i'm in the shade and then the breeze comes it gets oh my goodness it gets really chilly um okay. he also did like his whole workout because he was going crazy with playing and stuff now i'm just gonna go in get some coffee ah yay and we're probably gonna take off already I got lucky because I wanted to stay longer, but <laughs> Chris has to work. So um, the good thing is that I got like the time, the daylight saving. So technically I had an extra hour. So let's keep walking to the truck and then I'm just going to get my coffee. Cannot wait till I go to like Boston, Penn State, um, Oregon, 
Michigan, all those really pretty states that don't look like a desert. We're gonna taste it.